What is up everybody? How are you doing today? It's your buddy Jake here with another video. Today is Thursday, May 3rd, and it is uh, Heaven's Anglers Bass Club Meeting Day. That's right. We are here at West County, West County Assembly of God. We meet every Thursday, first Thursday of the month. Either that or it will be basically before any of our tournaments, the Thursday before any of our tournaments. So I kind of want to unpack to you, dive in, why being in a bass club is just such a huge benefit for everybody, uh, angler or co-angler alike, whether you have a boat or you don't have a boat, it is such a blessing, it is such a fantastic place to, especially for beginners, learn all about fishing, uh, techniques. There are so many individuals here in this club specifically and a lot of other bass clubs that want to get out on the water and teach others, younger individuals, how to fish, techniques, different types of the year, what's going to be, work better on different lakes, so on and so forth. So there's so many awesome benefits to being in a bass club and that's really why I joined specifically because I really wanted to learn more about fishing, period. There's a lot of additives on top of learning how to fish that really you'll get out of it, and that's fellowship, meeting new fishermen, people that really enjoy doing the same thing you do. And it's awesome because once you start building relationships and friendships, most of the time if those guys are going out fishing, they're gonna ask, they're gonna see, hey, you know, you don't have a boat, I'll take you with you. Or if you are one of those guys that have a boat, you can find somebody that you can take out and uh, really build a bond with any other fishermen in the area. And so that's really a big piece to why I love and will absolutely encourage you to join a bass club. Okie dokie, so we're gonna go ask a few of the younger members of our club some questions. We're gonna see how they like it, how long they've been in the club, kind of get some information of from them, their opinions, and how the club uh, affects them. So let's follow me. All right, so we are here with both Cody and Josh. These are the two youngest club members of our uh, of our club. How long have you guys been in Heaven's Anglers Bass Club? Cody, I'll start with you first. Two to three years. Not positive on the time, but definitely two to three years. And how often do you usually fish? I know you fish a lot with your dad, Mitch. Do you fish every tournament with him? Do you just fish every once in a while? Not every tournament, but a little bit more than every once in a while. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And what is the biggest bass you've ever caught? Whether it's in a tournament or not in a tournament, doesn't matter to me. Biggest bass you've ever caught? Uh, either six and a half or seven. That's awesome, man, that's awesome. So, my man Josh, how we doing? Hi, good. Hey, you're doing good? How long have you been in the club, buddy? Uh, one year. One year? A one total of one year? I, one and a half. One and a half? I have Yeah? And you also fish with your dad, don't you? So this guy here, his dad is actually the president of our club, Gary. His name's Gary. What is the biggest fish you've ever caught? 1.5. Three pounds. 1.3 pounds? Did you reel it in yourself? No. No? No. Why? Well, it's called one bass, but I don't know how much pounds. Oh, okay. And, and uh, what is your favorite thing about fishing with your dad, with the club? Fun. Having fun? Yeah? I, I mean, it is a blast. So it's exhilarating, <laughs> isn't it? It's so it's much so fun. fun. People sometimes, people say it's boring. No, they it's don't know funny. what they're talking about. Yeah. So, all I gotta say is this is another reason why I love this club. Dad's getting their kids out on the water, letting their kids really learn how to fish with them, and even uh, there's a lot of putting up with them, I bet. So, <laughs> your guys' dads oh, yeah, are awesome. True. Actually, Mitch is the vice president, which is Cody's father. Gary is the president, which is Josh's father. And they are out on the water more than a lot of our other members. So, it's really cool seeing them there. It's really cool. Uh, Get to see the experience that they uh, they get, and also how much fun they get. Uh, their faces lighting up when they bring fish in to uh, weigh, weigh in. Even I'm this guy here. He won the he won the 
championship tournament last year because it's very, very difficult day of fishing and he was the one that actually was able to catch catch a four pounder on the Lake of the Ozarks when it was 30 degrees out, so. I was like screaming when I reeled that thing in. He's never gonna let anyone let it go, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> no. Angler of the year right here at, how old are you, 12? At 12 years of age and he's just never gonna let anyone forget about that moment, That's for, especially his dad. <laughs> well, I'll tell that until, until high school yeah. at least and longer. <laughs> oh yeah, high school and longer. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead. You guys can follow me. We're gonna go in the meeting. It's actually going on right now, so I want you guys to see this. So back up. So this is what happens. So Isaac in the back of the boat, he's in the front of the boat, and I'm in the front of the boat. And I don't know if he broke off or what. He was using a net rig with like six pound test, so he was breaking off all day long. And uh, <laughs> he was. And so he leaves the trolling motor and we're like going straight for a tree. And so I was just gonna go gently push off the tree to make sure we weren't gonna hit the tree. I was worried about hitting the tree. And so, as soon as, he can attest to this, as soon as I went to go push off the tree, the boat starts drifting away at the same exact time. And so my body, momentum, everything was stuck in between the boat and the tree. And so like, I'm like half hanging off the boat, but also trying to get back. And so I attempt to push off the tree and the tree just goes like that. And so instead I jump off the boat and grab onto the tree and just bear hug it. And so, and I'm really the, probably the most disappointing piece of it, like I had my GoPro on and right before it all happened, my GoPro turned off. So I don't know if I accidentally turned it off without knowing, or it just, I don't know why it should the footage too, it stops right It literally stops at me like walking along the edge of the boat where the tree, we're just like, I'm about to push off and then it, it, it dies. So let me get this. So you were... Oh yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. And I shimmied up the tree because my my legs were in the water. I had my phone in my pocket. My phone is fine, hundred percent fine. So yeah, I'm down on my knees in front of the boat trying to get the six pound test line for another. <laughs> and Isaac says, "Your partner's over there hanging on the tree." <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> He didn't scratch your boat when he fell out, did he? <laughs> so I lost my rod, but then we went back later. Tim, Isaac, and I went back later and actually got the rod back. Snagged it up. Snagged it up. Lucky cast. Yeah, that's not true. How many feet of water were there? 25. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, the, the line got somehow intertwined onto the actual tree that I was uh, hanging on to. Yeah. <laughs> And so I went to cast, we were fan casting, I went to cast and I hit the tree and the weight went straight down and as I was dragging by it, I thought I had another tree limb. <laughs> but I had my fishing line and so when I pulled the line up out of the water, it was just like my line and my bait like just hanging out above the water and they were like, Tim and him were talking and I was like literally, that, that's it, that's it, get it, get it. Before he was, so. We were able to pull the whole thing out of the water. So that's where you're hoping you engage your reel. <laughs> that's what Tim said. He's like, I really hope, I, he's like, I really hope your uh, school is not open. Right, right. As you all can see, being in a bass club is fantastic. I highly recommend it. We have an upcoming tournament called the catch a Tournament. One of our awesome members, his name's Kevin. He donated actually 
a rifle for raffle to raise for AT&T veterans. This company is called K9 Tactical. You can check them out at K9Tactical.com. We're going to have an upcoming event next, this upcoming weekend. We have another tournament on the 19th, which is the catch event. There's so many opportunities being in a bass club that you get to be able to go out and get on the water, enjoy fishing, enjoy God's creation, catch some big fish, catch some big bass, and enjoy the water. Just being out in the water is an awesome feeling. The peace you get from it, the fellowship you get from it, all of it's fantastic. I met your buddy Jake. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Remember, always like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Send uh, That will send you the notifications you need to know when the next video is dropped. Catch you in the next one.